You know, there have been a lot of great piano men. Everything I got, folks, I got from piano men. Now, it's true, when I was young, I learned to play a lot of different instruments. One was the guitar, because I was always envious of the guitar players. They always seemed to get everything, folks. They always got all the solos, they got all the girls. So when I first started as an entertainer, I came out in Atlanta, Georgia, with a guitar in my hand. And uh, I'd get to talking to the folks a little bit, you know, and I'd set the guitar down and start looking for it, and I never could find that damn thing anymore. So I started playing the piano. I'm, something big enough up here I can grab a hold on, you know. That's why I play the piano today. So I always listened to the piano men. They all had their distinctive styles, their own licks. It was real easy to tell them apart. For instance, Fats, now his licks always sounded heavy left-handed. On the radio, they even sounded fat. Uh, how about Jerry Lee? What can you say about a man nicknamed the killer? What I'd like to know is how many pianos has he destroyed in his career? That's what I'd like to know. Burned them, jumped up on them, whatever. And how about Floyd Kramer? Now, he came up with a unique idea. He found a way to voice the piano like a steel guitar. And Brother Ray Charles, let me tell you, I think he did it all. So I guess what I'm saying is there have been so many piano players over the years that have had such a big influence in my music, I thought it would be real nice if we paid a special tribute just to the piano men. What do you say, guys? Yeah. What'd you say? Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Yes, me and I'm in love again. And handle love and sing to you know when. You know love. Song. Yeah, 
gonna bleed in my soul and keep Georgia on my mind. Woo! 